Man, to do is you've done it again. You've made something absolutely awesome inside of your platform that I haven't taken advantage of, but I wanted to showcase to you users here today. If you're somebody who is always looking to improve the way that they plan their day, this little update will help you improve how you plan out the different amount of time that you have in order to make the most of your day inside of Todoist. So as you can see right here, I have a couple tasks remaining inside of here. And as much as I want to get this mopping session done, what happens sometimes is we write a task down and we don't necessarily think how long it takes for us to complete this task. But if I wanted to say how long this would take, all I'd have to do was type out the day and then put four 45 minutes. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can actually click on this right here and we could say something along the lines of Sunday at 12 p.m. for 45 m, right? So then here what we'll have is it'll actually say, if we click on this, you'll notice that there's a spot here for the task duration and I could have actually just put it in like that. I could not put a time in here. I need to remove the task duration. I can remove the time or getting rid of the time. And I could put at 12 p.m. and then put 45 minutes. And from there, it would show 12 to 12.45 p.m. And what's really cool is this is the two-way sync we've been waiting for with Google Calendar. So if we go here into my settings and then check out my integrations, I actually have one here. So let's just manually sync this guy. And if I wanted to start from scratch, what I could do is I could actually sign in to my Todoist web account here and then connect to calendar and select my Google account, press agree, then pick the specific project. And you'll notice here that there's an option with Todoist tasks without a start time and duration or all day. Google Calendar should. You can say sync or not sync. I'm gonna have it not sync so it just shows that task. I'm gonna check MRT backlog and you can pick whether you want them to stay on your Google Calendar or not. But by pressing this right here, now this guy should be synced up. So let's go to my calendar. You notice right here, if I clear out my calendar, at 12 to 12.45 p.m. right here, I have a sync because this shows up and the source is from Todoist. And if I click on view source, it sends me right back to that Todoist task. And I'm sure as you can imagine with some of the improvements that Todoist is making with their calendar views that we're gonna have some serious quality tasks and calendar combining moving forward with this platform. So we have a perfect Google Calendar sync now. I mean, I haven't expected them to do this for a while, but I'm pretty pumped to see how you can implement this into any of your different calendar apps just by typing when and where and how long you're gonna do something. If you like this video and wanna see more content on how to improve your skills using Todoist and other platforms like this, make sure to check out videos like this one right here.